Many sisters who sleep with lecturers in the university to pass. Destiny is not just about passing exam. It's good to read and pass exam. But ma, when you go into the street, you will need favor. You will need wisdom. You will need divine timing. All of that, a lecturer can't give it. So it's a waste to give up yourself in order to get a score. Study hard. Any score you get, receive it with integrity and go away. Your life is bigger than paper. Psalm 105 verse 17, he sent a man before them, even Joseph. The Bible said he was sent. What a way to send a man. He was in the pit. He was a houseboy. He was accused. He was put in prison. Is that how God sends men? Yes. What you call a, a life of pain and sorrow was a divine errand. But the guy knew. He knew that although things are not working now, but all things will eventually work for my good. For all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. And so while he was in prison, he was waiting for his time. So when Potiphar's wife came, sleep with me, he said, no. Although my destiny is not to be a houseboy, it looks as if God has forgiven, forgotten me, but I will not do this evil. A time is coming when my status will change. If I compromise now, I have betrayed my destiny. So it was because of that time that he endured. Did you not read about Jesus? The Bible said for the joy that was set before him, he endured the pain. People who don't know how spiritual things are administered, they are the ones who compromise. I will not sleep with you. If he did, he would have become the head of house boys. And he would have been there for a lifetime. A prime minister would have been the head of house boys. But he refused. And the Bible said, Psalm 105 verse 18, until the time that his word came. He said the word of the Lord tried him. The king sent for to lose him. Even the ruler of the people. He made him lord of his house and ruler of his substance to bind his princes at his pleasure and to teach his senators wisdom. Imagine, Potiphar was not even a senator. The guy was going to a level in life where senators would become his students and disciples. What if he compromised? He knew that there was a time. He knew that there was a season where everything that pertained to his deliverance will happen. Hear me, women of God. It doesn't matter if you are in a pit. It doesn't matter if you are frustrated. Keep your ground. Your time is in the spirit. When that moment comes, the Bible said he lifted up the beggar from the tongue he, and he causes him to stand among princes that they may inherit throne. You will not end where you are. You are on a journey. Wait for your time. Your enemies may laugh at you. They may come to you. They may make mockery of you. I thought you said you are beautiful. How come you don't have a child? Wait. Your womb is being prepared. Think about Elizabeth. She was not giving birth until she was old. But that womb needed to be incubated with prayer. Because the one that was coming was a voice crying in the wilderness. It's not every womb that can carry that child. So it's not about the number of children. It's about the weight of destiny that they carried. And when the guy showed up, they said, who are you? He said, I'm the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Prepare a way for the Lord. He took an intercessor to raise that child. So it was not marital delay. It was not delay in giving birth. It was incubation process for a prophet. A prophet that could bring forth the Messiah. Do you know the testimony of Jesus concerning John? He said, of all men that lived, he said, there was none greater than John. That was the child. Elizabeth carried. What if she didn't wait for her time? There is nothing you are going through that you cannot be delivered from, but it takes a timing. There is a time allocation in the spirit, and I don't know about you, but me, I will wait for my time. I'm not looking for anybody outside God to help me. I'm not looking for any mechanical means to go ahead. The race is not to the swift. Neither is the battle to the strong. It's of the Lord that showed mercy. I'm not moved by what men say. When I look to the east, I know that my Redeemer liveth. He may not appear as if it is working, but I know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. Don't bother about those mocking you. That's not where your destiny is going to. Did you read about Hannah? The Bible said Penina made a mess of her. 
every time they went to Shiloh, Shiloh was supposed to be the high place of worship. But it was in the place of worship that she was mocked. So that she couldn't access her God. But the day came, she realized that this thing is a distraction. And she went before God. She left every distraction aside. And she was laboring in prayer. And God remembered Hannah. God remembered Hannah. When your time come, God will remember you. I prophesy over someone. This is your season of remembrance. Oh. Yeah. anything discourage you see the spirit realm is a pregnant realm it carries many things destinies are carried there deliverances are carried there miracles are carried there no matter what is happening on ground focus if you know how to win the moments in the spirit you will conquer on ground a prisoner can become a prime minister a barren woman can become the mother of the greatest man that ever lived that is the supernatural interplay and possibility of the spirit realm you are not defeated you are not useless your life will not waste but there is a time there's a timing this is why you need to arrest time ecclesiastics chapter 3 verse 1 says there is a time for everything under the sun there is a time find that time maximize that time and see the color that your destiny will issue out now what is the protocol for accessing times of the spirit there are things you need to put in place in order to win those times this is one of my major studies because i discovered this life is too treacherous and there are too many wicked men partnering with demons to waste things that your life depends on that's why lamentation said to frustrate a man on his course he said the lord approved not because there are too many wicked men who will only be happy if you go down there are too many wicked people who will go out of their way their destiny will be to see you frustrated when you were down they didn't have a problem but the moment god started doing something with you they lost their sleep such is the world that we live in this is why you cannot rest until you know everything that is designed for your advantage there are things designed for our advantage and it is our duty to master it Ephesians 5 15 and 16 said awake awake thou that sleepest and Christ will give you light he said redeeming the time for the days are evil the dark places of the earth the Bible said is filled with the habitation of cruelty we are the dark places of the earth the whole earth is under darkness he said darkness shall cover the earth that means everywhere on earth is filled with the habitation of cruelty you can't live life by chance there's no such thing as luck everybody making impact is working it by spiritual intelligence please if you find this video interesting if you found it educative or maybe you got something from it reasonable please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and why not you share for others to watch thank you for always being there it is a pleasure to know that you are <laughs> that you watched this video up to this time and i'll see you again in our next update god bless you and god bless southern Cameroon. thank you